Well, let's try it. What, what, what could possibly happen when we send a particle, a piece of something, through a double slit experiment? Well, there's only really one model that we can look at. These are the logical possibilities. It's one possibility. It's a particle, after all. Uh, it'll go down and hit the barrier and bounce off, or it'll go through the hole and continue and pile up at the bottom there. All right, but scientists are never satisfied with thought experiments anymore. So even though they say, that's what would happen, they say, prove it. I'm from Missouri. Show me. So, yeah, all right, we'll set it up. And they very quickly uh, figured out how to send these very small particles through a double slit. And this is what they did. Let's try it. I'm going to take that. That's going to represent an electron. Or you can represent anything you want it to represent. You can represent a billiard ball, because that's what it looks like. Uh, we're going to take it. It's a particle. We're going to throw it at the double slit. Are we ready? Here we go. Wind up. Mm -hmm. We threw it at the double slit and see what happens. And they did that. And this is what happened. So, give me comments on this. Give me comments on this illustration. Here's a question for you. How did it get there? Why is it in the middle? Oh, it's impossible? Oh, you think it's impossible? It's, it's surprising. It's not what I was expecting. But it's not impossible. So, let's uh, do it again. Why didn't you do anything? Okay. Wind it in, throw it up, and okay, that's, that's better. And now we see that we have pretty much where we expected in a straight line. Uh, we'll do it again. And, huh. Huh. Well, that's right. So it wasn't an accident. Uh, do it again. Oh, that's better. Do it again. Okay. Again, in line, pretty much, uh, with where we were started. Again. Again. It's getting annoying. Again. Ah. Okay, so maybe those were, uh, errors. No, whatever. Poo, okay. No, I think we're okay. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, how did that get there? No, I don't know. Uh, left-handed curve or something. Uh, well, no, well, alright. Okay. Good again. Now, I'm feeling a little more comfortable. Huh? How'd that get there? Uh, and where's the last one going to land? Yes, I had 12 billiard balls to throw. I had to make a good illustration. So they all land in a nice, um, <coughs> pile there. This is what happens when you throw particles at a double. And you do it one at a time, all day long, until you run out of particles. Now, as you saw those things coming through, if you hadn't known how I programmed this little animation, would you have been able to guess where the next one was going to land? No, not without reading my mind, uh, or unless I did something that was not random. I meant to make them random. They come just anywhere. They come just anywhere. But at the end of the day, when you finish them all, you send off 12, well, they could be a little lopsided. You send off... Uh, 100, I think it still be a little lopsided. You know what happens when you toss coins? You know, do you always get head, tail, head, tail? No. Uh, you get a run of six heads. Uh, so if we flip the coin a hundred times, will we get a random distribution? No. But if you send a hundred billion of the things through, pretty much it averages out, and this is what you get. This is what you get. I started out with a particle, an electron, a proton. Um, I threw it two slits. I threw it a barrier that had two slits in it. I studied it out. I could hold it in my hand. You can isolate a single electron. Neutron, proton, uh, atom. And I threw it at the slit, and then I found out where it landed at the back, and I counted them up. And this is what happened. What did I end up with at the back wall? Did I end... Well, I, it's not only really striped. What is it? it it's piled. It's one hit at a time. These things appeared one at a time. I started off one at a time, and I was patient. I threw it through, and I waited till it hit before I sent the next one through. So I sent one at a time through. They hit one at a time. So I started off with a particle, a billiard ball, and I ended up with a particle, a billiard ball. 
I, I never had half one. I never had, like, you know, shadings of a, a particle. I thought that was a particle. I ended up with a particle. But this is how they distribute themselves. On average, after you send a lot of them through, this is exactly how they're going to distribute themselves. Well, that's most curious. <laughs> uh, that's the result. And I think I heard someone say that that uh, has something to do with a wave. That, looks, that reminds them of a wave. What is it about this that reminds people of a wave? As it, I can't figure it out, but for some reason they have distributed themselves in a way that is exactly matching what would happen if two waves interfered. Why don't you two particles that could interfere? I threw one particle. And do they just distribute themselves over time, particle by particle, in a way that looks real familiar? And it more than looks familiar. You can count them up. You can measure it. You can calculate the wavelength of what wave it would take to interfere in exactly that fashion. One at a time. Wouldn't you like to know what's going on at those slips? See if it bounces off. See if, I don't know, I threw it, I, I wasn't watching it, so maybe I threw it and then it turned into two particles and went through uh, both slips and then bounced off each other. Uh, I don't know. I've got to explain them. I've got to explain it to my boss, who believes that the Earth is flat. Um, all right. Here's just a little... To rub it in, uh, it's as though you had a wave emanating from each of those slits, and you can see where they're overlapping, and you can see where these particles are piling up. Mathematically, you can analyze it, and you can prove to a million decimal places that that is exactly where two waves would overlap. So I was one particle end up with piles that just happened to pile up in exactly the way that wave mechanics would cause a wave to do it. So we're not dealing with waves. 